Hi, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Are you over 50 and wondering what to wear? I'm over 50 and you know what? I have no clue what I should wear. Oh, me oh my. Fortunately, an article popped up in my internet feed and here's what it said. The article is called Over 50, Here's What Not to Wear. Yeah. Dressing when you're over 50 does not mean giving up your personal style. It sounds like you're hinting that it does. Women and men of all ages should be encouraged to dress in a way that makes them feel confident. However, for many people, turning 50 brings some changes in body shape and appearance that make buying clothes feel challenging, especially when society encourages us to maintain a youthful appearance. You may be afraid of choosing clothes that make you look older than you are, but some styles that may seem youthful can accentuate your age. We encourage everyone to embrace their age, but also understand the desire to maintain a youthful appearance. How special. All right. <laughs> and normally I wouldn't read this sort of article at all, but the first item on here <laughs> made me very intrigued because number one, wild hair color. Oops. Yeah, wild hair color. Item number one. Candy colored locks are a fun way to add bright flair to your personal style if you're not ready to give in to nature's gray. Yeah, at 50, we're all going gray. The right hair color can look fresh, healthy, and even youthful. However, much like natural hair colors, a bright hue can look unflattering if it doesn't work with your skin tone. Work with your hairstylist to determine if color is right for you. <sighs> I guess I broke that rule. Let's see what else I can break. Number two. And this one is oddly specific. Wireframe glasses. Uh, they say wireframe and frameless glasses add years to your face. Thick, bold frames in darker colors resulting in a more cutting edge, youthful appearance. Black frames are considered the little black dress. Well, okay, got that one right of eyewear that pair well with any outfit. However, acetate frames come in a variety of styles and colors, making it easy to select frames that accentuate your features and fit your style. So the first two, again, the emphasis is on appearing youthful. And this is just going right, it's kind of conflicting because they say, you know, we're, we want to maintain youthful appearance and then youthful, 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 and, but don't dress this way because, uh, anyway, headache number nine. Number three, massive makeup. Oops. Makeup is a great tool for personal expression. Some prefer bold theatrical makeup and consider makeup as a form of art. However, if what you want out of your makeup is to enhance your facial features and reduce the sign of aging, minimal makeup is best. Too much makeup can make you age. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Massive makeup. All right. Well, I'm. I got one right. Non wire. Non wire glasses. So weird. Anyway, number four. Deep diving necklines. Tasteful open neckline or V neck top is attractive and works for many women but necklines that expose deep cleavage do not do much for older women. I mean, if you got it, plucked it, right? The societal standard for revealing clothes dictates that older women should show as little skin as possible because skin showing signs of aging should be concealed. And that is the problem with our society. Ageism. What's wrong with aging skin? I mean, really? Yeah, so if you feel confident in your skin, however, wear that deep V with pride. 
go for bust and ignore this rather dated rule. Okay, again, very conflicting. They're saying they're following society standards, but kind of gently mollifying that so it's not quite so severe while slapping on the wrist for not obeying society's standards. Number five, too much jewelry. Oops, again, I love wearing lots of jewelry. Jewelry like makeup is designed to enhance the overall look, not detract from it. Excessive bling can appear a tacky. I live for tacky. A chunky eye-catching necklace may bring unwanted attention to an aging neckline. Oh, God forbid somebody see my aging neckline or chest with wrinkled skin. How unattractive. A few good quality, but not necessarily expensive pieces can look attractive, classy, and can add finesse to your outfit. Finesse. I'd rather see personality, honestly. I'd rather reflect who you are. I don't care if I see your wrinkled neck. Go for it. Number six thigh-high hemlines. Oops, that's another one I break a lot because I got good legs and I don't like to show them off. A mini skirt or a dress and a nice pair of legs go together like bread and butter. <laughs> it's so weird. But after 50, it might be a good idea to reevaluate hemline length. Women can wear dresses and skirts that they feel comfortable in, but a short hemline doesn't necessarily give a more youthful a look. Again, this article wants us all to be sweet, young, youthful, dewy, lovely, unaging creatures. You know what? Number seven. Oh, the next two are really funny. Number seven and number eight. Number seven. Clothes with a sprayed on look. Much like mini skirts, leggings and tight clothes may seem like they offer a younger appearance because they tend to be worn by younger people. However, tight clothes should not be, can, not be chosen over very well fitting clothes. Choosing cuts that match your style but can feel comfortable and enhance your natural figure and make you feel good in your own skin. Let's pair that with number eight, baggy clothes. Okay, so no tight clothes and no baggy clothes. Baggy clothes. Some looser fitting styles can look trendy and chic, but baggy clothes can look ill-fitting and sloppy. What if you are sloppy? <laughs> That's your style. Many people wear baggy clothes because they don't feel confident and want to hide their bodies. However, embracing your body type and learning to dress for it will enhance your best features and can offer slimming appearance. There are many guides online offering tips on how to choose clothing for your body type. Again. Really? Really, people? Number nine kind of a continuation. Frumpy fashion. Decades old clothing can appear frumpy. Sometimes individuals become stuck in a clothing time warp, falling in love with a particular look or style. Pieces like classic blazers are timeless, but that 10 year old floral blouse or Hawaiian print shirt in your closet probably looks out of date. <laughs> what if you live in Hawaii? And all you want to wear is Hawaiian shirts. Uh, what the hell is wrong with a Hawaiian shirt? Why is that frumpy? It could be really cool. I don't know. Honestly, I think a classic blazer is just super boring. But I'm not the author of this informative article. And number 10, shoddy shoes. Old shoes may be comfortable and suitable for lounging around the house, but they detract from nice clothes. Well, what if you aren't wearing nice clothes to begin with? Your shoes are going to look all wrong with your outfit. Scuffed shoes, frayed laces, nicked heels, and worn soles can ruin a perfectly good look. Sometimes all it takes is a little shoe polish and heel dressing to breathe life into a pair of shoes 
that have been around for a while. However, when shoes can't be made to look better, it's time to toss them for a better looking pair. Like you want to toss out all the old wrinkled people? Yeah. So that was interesting. And then a little while later, I noticed that they had added a part two to this little series. This one was written by Patricia. I guess Susie hadn't done a good enough job and she was missing five more elements. So when they updated it, these are the extra things that they added to their list. Jeans from another decade. If you're old enough to have ripped, worn, ripped up mom jeans for the first time they were in style, you're too old to be wearing them this time around. Forego the holy, super high-waisted acid wash jeans in favor of a more conservative, classic look. That's the crux of it, right? Conservative, classy. Blend into the background, ladies. We don't want to see you when you age. Again. Everything you wore in high school will come back in style eventually, but you don't want to look like you've been wearing the same clothes all along. Hmm. Why not? Okay, next one. I guess this makes number 12. Sports shoes when you're not sporting. Suits and sneakers don't mix once you get past a certain age. And neither do skirts and athletic shoes. Have you ever seen those women downtown briskly walking in skirts and tennis shoes on their lunch break? Unless you're under 30 and doing a power walk around the office building with your arms swinging in an exaggerated motion, wearing a skirt or a dress with tennis shoes can make you look like a bag lady. <laughs> what if you are a bag lady? The only thing missing is a shopping cart loaded down with all your worldly possessions. Wow. Wow, people. We're going deep. We're going deep. And continuing on with that theme, item number 13. Athletic wear outside the gym. I think we're talking about leggings. When you're over 50, there's no such thing as being overdressed. Gone are the days when you could show up somewhere in pajamas or sweats and be considered cool. <laughs> Who shows up in pajamas? I guess college students might, yeah, college students do. Yoga pants aren't very forgiving. Hmm. Like somebody might see a bump or a lump or cellulite. <laughs> God forbid. And by the way, leggings are not pants. Technically, leggings are pants. But again, who am I? I don't write these articles. Number 14, and this one again, oddly specific. Pastels are not your friend. When you're over 50, why is 50 the dividing line? I don't know. Anyway, your cheeks lose their rosiness and wearing pale pastel colors can wash you out even more. So we're washed out, washed up and wrinkly as soon as we hit 50. It's over, folks. It's just over. There's a reason pastel colors have names like baby pink and baby blue. These colors look good on babies. Mature adults should stick with black. Okay, I agree, stick with black. Tans or bright vivid colors instead for a vibrant, youthful look. And just because maybe they got some flack, they had to add number 15, which I found kind of interesting. Number 15, dress for how you feel. Who cares? A little too late and so now you're just trashing your whole article. None of these prohibitions are set in stone. Well yes, <laughs> that is true. So if you're young at heart, let it show in your wardrobe. Fashion rules were made to be broken, so wear whatever you feel comfortable with. 
you might just be able to pull off a look that nobody else your age can. Age is just a number after all. So after telling us all society's rules and all the things we shouldn't do and how we should hide ourselves because we're older. Now, just a tiny little disclaimer at the back saying, meh, we were just kidding. But, but actually they weren't. I mean, they're still hammering on, can you pull this off? Come on, people. So what are my rules? I think, I think you shouldn't wear anything that you feel like you have to wear to please anybody else in society. If you want to wear something, wear it. Don't feel pressured to wear things that are not you. If you like to dress in a beautiful conservative blazer, classic style, and that's you, that reflects you, go for it. Wonderful. If you want to dress punk or like a bag lady, or baggy clothes, tight clothes, bright colors, pastels, patterns, go for it. The other thing that, well, the thing that I think about is maybe don't wear or reevaluate fast fashion. Maybe do look into some of those age old classic styles or vintage shops. Maybe, maybe do look at some used clothing stores, especially local stuff. Um, you know, support your local makers, support your local vintage shops. Um, I mean, sustainable is more important to me, honestly. And that's at any age, really. I don't think there's set rules, but I, it's important to think about the clothing that we are wearing in terms of, you know, what it does to the environment, um, how we can help other people with our choices or, you know, what's good for us. Wear what you like, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy and things that you enjoy. Um, if it's something you've had for many, many years, or if it's something brand new, if it's something really on trend, if it, if it makes you feel confident, wear it. I think it's really important to just wear what you like, wear what you want, whatever style that is, express yourself. Sure, there's some circumstances where you want to be, you know, careful with showing skin, but that's not an age thing. That's maybe a, where are you going and what's appropriate, you know, no shirt, no shoes, no service kind of kind of rules, but that's not an age thing at all. And if you're wearing things that you feel like you have to wear, that you're actually not comfortable in, but you're just wearing them because you think society wants you to wear them, your confidence is going to be zapped and your appearance will be dulled because you're just not feeling happy in it. That's a lot more important than following any particular rules that little miss Susie and Patricia might have for us. Anyway, so that is my commentary on this really stupid article about over 50 and what you should or should not wear. Because honestly, us ladies over 50 can have a super fun time expressing ourselves and enjoying our fashion choices for years to come. That's it for me. Have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, and I hope to see you again. Thanks.